Hi everyone, I'm Susan Jacob and uh, this is a very interesting video of a young 16 year old boy who came with uh, unilateral keratoconus. As seen from the op scan, the patient has an inferiorly decentered cone with a steepest keratometry of about 50.8. The patient improved to about 6 by 60 with an RGP contact lens trial and to about 636 with retinal acuity meter. Now the question was, was this an amblyopia or aberopia? Since we know that the age for onset of keratoconus is generally after the amblyopiogenic age, the chances of this being a pure amblyopia was low. We decided to do an intax followed by cross-linking for the patient in a simultaneous procedure. You can see that the femtosecond laser-assisted channel has already been created and the intact segment is inserted into the channel. This is a 0.40 segment and it is then nudged in to lie uh, in the inferior quadrant in such a manner that it supports the cone from inferiorly. The entry incision is then sutured in a tight manner in order to be able to get a second limbus effect which regularizes the topography and uh, pushes the cone more centrally. The epithelium is then removed for the simultaneous cross-linking procedure and you can see that once this is done, the cornea is soaked in riboflavin for 30 minutes followed by cross-linking. We can see here the post-operative op scan and this was at the 6th post-operative day. The patient's uncorrected visual acuity improved from uh, 6 by 60 to 6 by 18 and his best corrected visual acuity improved from 636 to 69. And obviously, this was a very happy patient. And uh, you can see that this comparison uh, the, between the keratometric maps pre-operatively on the left-hand side and post-operatively on the right-hand side definitely shows a lot of improvement in the uh, cone of the patient by the sixth post-operative day itself. Of course, progressive flattening that is caused by the cross-linking over uh, the next few months will uh, lead to a more regularization of the topography. But even by the 6th post-operative day, you can definitely see an improvement in the keratometric map with an upward shifting of the cone and a decrease in the keratometric values. So this was uh, a case of aberopia caused by uh, the increased higher order aberration secondary to keratoconus. And this is the reason we were able to correct it by uh, getting the corneal topography and the keratometric maps to be more regularized, therefore leading to an improvement in the vision of the patient. Intax combined with either the conventional cross-linking or the contact lens assisted uh, collagen cross-linking is therefore a great way to uh, treat mild to moderate cases of keratoconus. You enjoyed watching this video. Thank you so much.